Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be discussing on how do we set up a wall as a futsal goalkeeper. Setting up a wall as a futsal goalkeeper is so important against tactics on free kicks. Today we're going to be going through how to set up a wall and a basic structure on how to do so. So one of the most important things here is to realize where the free kick is being taken. So we apply different tactics to whether the free kick is at halfway, borderline or the D spot. All right, so let's get started. So the first tactic that we're gonna be going through is a free kick that's taken at around halfway. So when, if a free kick's taken at halfway, we don't need a wall, guys. We just need our players to man mark the opposition. Because to be honest, if they're taking a free kick from halfway and shooting, it's not a very smart idea on their part to uh, shoot. So yeah, just get your players to man mark a player and just watch where kind of the players move. So the second position that we're gonna be going through is the quarter from halfway. So the process of the quarter line free kick is what we wanna do is set up two in the wall and we wanna make sure that they're, so the first player is we wanna align them directly with our post, whether it's left side or right side. We wanna want them to stand, this, okay, stand right in front of this pole and then second player to the right side. So then we have to think about where we're gonna stand. If you think about it, the attacker, okay, you've got two people blocking this front post, so you don't need to be standing at front post, right? So what we wanna do is from that second defender, we wanna take around two steps forward. So the wall is covering your front post, and you're able to save your right post here. So again, we want, to be, we want to take around one to two steps forward with this one. Um, we don't want to be directly on our line because you know we need to make ourselves as big as possible um, and just cut down the angles. So again, keep a ready stance, weight shifted onto our toes, knees bent, hands up, ready for the save. Third and final position that I want to go through with you guys is that of where a free kick is taken just in front of the D spot. How I like to personally set up my wall is have them kind of like uh, set on the line. So if the free kick is taken from this angle here, I want them set up front post, the middle, and a right hand side here. And then where I want to be positioned is I want to be at the forefront of the free kick. So I want to be standing three steps away or from where the referee allows you to set up a wall that's where you want to be standing so you know so i'll be standing probably about here if the free kick is taken here so this just so i may i look as big as possible really um, and they can only realistically score in there or if they're really good they'll clear the defenders and go top corner the method of saving this free kick is just try try to stay on your feet as long as possible. If you think he's going to drive the ball into the bottom corner, then we will do our split save and um, hopefully save it. Okay guys, so what we're going to be doing is kind of showing you the practical application for this and how to visualize setting up your wall. So what I'm going to do is this yellow cone is going to be the attacker and the yellow cones are you're going to be your defenders. So Okay guys, so we've set up our kind of attacking position there. Um, the best way to set up your defenders would be like this. Okay, so these are your defenders here. This, this defender here is aligned with the post and the other one is just another step to the right. Um, you want to make sure your defenders don't jump or move. You just want them to stay still, rigid, so the ball doesn't get kicked under their legs so when that happens, you're not really ready for it and um, likely results into a goal. So our goalkeeper positioning right now, we should be kind of in line with that right hand side defender and maybe a step to the right. So we're covering more of our right side here and maybe two steps forward right there. And obviously the rest of the players, that would be kind of be surrounding kind of where the set piece is going to be taken or you know the players are running and just following your man if you guys are man marking obviously um, so yeah that's 
that's a great way to kind of visualize this Irvine free kicking. So the final kind of visualization I want to go through is the one closest to the D. Hey guys, so what I've set up there is the tacker kind of closest to the D there. So there's, I forgot to mention, you can do this two ways. So what you can do is you can set up obviously three defenders. So I'll show you guys that. So what we can do is we can set up three defenders in this one. So again, the same principle applies. We have one at the corner post and then the second and third defender to the right hand side. So that basically all covers the left hand side of the goal. And then all you have to cover is the right side of the goal. Um, you can either step up with this so to make it four in the wall and the other defender kind of just tracking other players. So you can stand there. From the kick taker's point of view, this looks very hard to score at that point. So they might be thinking that, all right, we're gonna set up like a little set piece, maybe like defenders like run in, drag people out the wall and shoot, something along those lines. But again, from the attacker's point of view, this looks like a very difficult goal to score. Um, and that's what we're trying to aim here, so yeah. And then what we can do also is have our defenders set up on the line. So maybe you would have three or four defenders. One, two, three. And you would have yourself. Um, depending where the free kick is at the top of the D, you could probably only stand on the line. That's where the walls where the referee has asked you for the wall to be on the, on the goal line. So in that case, simply, you just want to kind of just step into it and um, give it 100% and saving it. So, you know, this wall covers the left side again. So yeah, your main goal is to cover this right side here and just trust in the defenders. They'll just stand rigid and um, try and save the ball. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below what videos you'd like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next one. Peace.